PSA has gone through their backlog. Welcome to the Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! channel where we discuss everything collecting and investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So as you know, a few weeks ago, PSA stopped accepting submissions to focus on their backlog, to try and get all of their new systems in order, basically. And that way, catch up to millions of cards waiting to be graded. Now, Nat Turner, the person who acquired PSA recently together with other investors, has announced that PSA has registered this entire backlog. Now, what does that mean? Basically, there's a bunch of steps in the grading process and registration is basically the beginning. So this means now gradually all of these cards that have been waiting for months and months, they've been there since last year even, are now entering the system. Now, what does this mean? Well, not all that much. The cards still aren't graded. And a lot of people are starting to get their stuff back. So I believe August 2020 cards are currently returning, which is good, you know. But it still means there's a bunch of cards waiting from September, October, November, December, you know, mid all the hype. Now, when they closed submissions, they did say that they were hoping to reopen some of these service levels, you know, to just get your cards through, I don't know, even economy or maybe regular express rather than super express in July. Will they still be able to do that? I don't know, we'll see. I did read somewhere that 1st of July would be when they start accepting regular submissions or something like that again because of this news, but I don't know if that's confirmed or anything like that. Overall, I like the transparency. I think a lot of people have been waiting for some updates for quite a while. I do still find it fascinating to find out what has been in that backlog. You know, we can all speculate. Some people are saying, oh, all these first edition LOB or first edition base set Pokemon, all of that stuff, there's actually millions in there waiting to be fresh PSA 10s coming back and that's gonna crash the whole market. I don't really think so. Some people are saying, oh, it's full of modern, there's only modern in there and all of modern is gonna crash. Um, I don't think that's true either. I think it's gonna be a mix, but I definitely think that it's gonna skew towards very not rare stuff as we have been seeing in the weaker PWCC batches. At least the previous ones, this last one, the current one that's going on is actually pretty high quality. We'll probably see some all-time highs on some cards. But overall, this is just good news. I'm excited to grade more cards again, mostly for my own collection, some that I do intend to sell at one point, but I'm not really pressed or anything like that. I'm just hoping that we get to a point of normalcy again. So on the one hand, collectors have the supply that they so desperately want. Collectors are also able to grade their stuff quicker, but businesses can also grade their stuff quicker. They no longer have this super long wait, so they'll be able to buy collections, grade stuff, sell that graded stuff without this huge, huge weight that's really making everything very tough basically to handle from a inventory velocity perspective. I'm personally not running a graded card business or anything like that, but I can understand that that is really painful for some of these businesses. Ever since the pandemic, we've had this hot potato game with graded cards because there was so little supply. And once that is gone, you're gonna have a way more natural flow. What that will do to prices, I have no idea. I still feel that the highest of the high end is more insulated, but I do see some type of retracement happening on the low end as we've been talking about on this channel for a long time and probably across the board, by the way, just way less on the high end in my opinion, but we'll see. So that was a quick update. I don't wanna ramble on and on about this. It's just a quick, you know, news story, I guess. Hope you found this interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.